to know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. That some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. That you don't have to go through life being a victim. And even though you face disappointments, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. You still talk about your dream and you still talk about your goal, but you have not done anything. Just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dream. As we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude the cars we possess? Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. You can live your dream.